Yo, hello again. So, how is deep dive calculated? Is deep dive actually 12%? Is it less? Is it more? What is happening? Let's talk about that. And also, let's talk about how Lost Dark is calculating damage and what are the damage sources in the game. Because I originally didn't know that there was different damage sources until someone commented on one of the videos telling me that are there are different damage sources. So, I had to do this. Do the math. Think about it. And do some testing. So, I wanted to understand this. Before we get into the numbers, the everything, and I show you how it will be calculated, I want you to have a general idea. Right? There are two ways the game will add any damage. Either add it or multiply it. What is the difference? If you add any damage source, every damage you add does not affect each other. Adding does not affect each part. So if you add 20%, if you add 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, each of these 20s do not affect each other. But if you multiply 20, 20, 20, they affect each other. That's the difference. That's the only difference. So if you get additional damage, it does not affect your overall damage. So yes, you're getting 12% additional. So you're increasing by 12% additional damage. But the additional damage you're increasing is not your overall damage. So the difference is that one will affect overall, one wouldn't affect overall. That's the idea. Now let's look at the idea to explain how you would do it. Now why is additional damage always like this? It's because your character always starts with additional damage, which comes from the reopen quality. So I want to think about this for example. If you were to have 100% damage and then get the weapon quality, which will your overall damage, let's say you will deal your overall damage. Every hit will be overall damage. So that's 100% of your damage. Now we increase it by weapon quality. If you have zero quality, for example, you would be 10%, right? So let's look at this. What is the difference, right? What is happening here? So that 100% damage you have will become 110 because you added on it 110. You added the 10. So it doesn't matter if you add it or multiply it, it's the same because your base is 100. So the first additional damage you would add if it gets added the first thing by the way if the additional damage which is the weapon which i think the game does that but i'm not sure because there's no way to exactly measure it but the first additional damage you have if it gets added your normal damage the first thing before any other thing you're getting full effectiveness of it but i don't but we can't really tell that but let's move on that idea now from 110 if you add the 20 130 simple but if you give it to one the 20 percent you multiply it now what's happening is that you're multiplying that by 20 percent and then you're gonna divide by 100 because that's 20 percent so that's 22 that you're gaining 22 so one will be 120 so like 130 that's with the additional but the other one will be 132 so the two extra you got is that you because of the 10 damage at 10 percent additional damage that you had from your weapon quality did not get, effect, get affected by the first 20 but the second 20 it get it got affected by it which is the two that you got increased so that's the difference that's as simple as it gets so why does additional damage does not work as effective as normal damage buffs is because it does not affect everything so weapon quality does not get affected at any at other types of source of additional damage does not affect it now let's look at this Maybe you don't like numbers. Let's look at how the game would look, right? So I want to make a neutral test. So here is a neutral test to make game, the game a lot easier. No damage buffs. No engravings. Okay. Part set. The 12% that we're talking about. We're removing that. Okay. No crit. Zero crit. So my normal damage is my normal damage. Let's look at this. How much damage my auto attack does. And I'm using the auto attack. The most neutral thing in the build. Auto attack. 8.2. 8.1. 8.1 8.2 8.1 so you get the idea it's 8 point something now here's what i'm gonna do right just because also by the way my my set is dominion so it's not getting affected because i didn't use my awakening so i'm just trying to make it so here's what i'm gonna do since you will always know that there is difference between the numbers it's not exact and the reason for that is the game does not have an exact number look i'm eating i'm dealing with once 8.3, once 8.1, one 8.4, 8. Point, you see, there's a difference. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna try to make it more, like try to make the error factor less by trying more. So I'm gonna, so what I did is that I tried five times, okay? Add the five times, divided by five, you get a main value. So the main value was 8343. Three. So let's put our calculator here, right? We'll leave this. Actually, before we do this, I'll show you the other damage. So what if we add the 12%, right? So right now, look at my additional damage here. In details, it went up by 12%. So originally it was 26. 
let's hit the boss once 9.3 9.9 only 8.8 8.9 8.9 8.6 okay, 8.1 okay you get the idea right so i did that same thing so here is what happened originally my with the additional damage my auto attack dealt 9153.2 that's the amount of damage okay so we'll take that we'll take away from it the amount of damage we dealt without the additional damage which is 8343 this is i so this this number i'm using right now i tried five times i calculated added all the five times together divided by five to get a main value just so i try to remove the error factor because the damage is not always stable okay so what do we get from this we get 810.2 and if you do this if you test this on your own right now you will get different numbers because it's not stable but the general idea is the same now 810.2 now what is that damage how much is that now let's take that divide that by the original damage we had which is the 8003.3 point oh no there was no point it was just 8300 8343 okay so it simple that's how much we got multiplied by 100 and that turns into a percentage so your percentage is now the amount of damage you gained was not 12 percent it was only 9.2 so what happened why did you lose damage now let's look at why did i lose damage now let's look at my build okay and try to make it as simple as it gets so i had 26.2 additional now that 20.62 additional did it get affected or no that's the question so let's try since i don't have any other damage sources my basic attack is is the simplest thing i can use i don't have any other damage sources right so let's look at that so i have 26.2 right if this were to get affected by the 12 percent so let's see how much is the 12 percent of that to multiply that by 12 divide that by 100 it's 3.144 so this is the amount of damage i should be missing from the 12 percent addition so this is how if you were to have the same quality like me you would not get 12 percent additional you would actually get 12 percent additional is equal to uh like 12 minus this number okay so let's look at this so this is the amount of percent i got plus the, um, the percentage that i got from the other one which is here 9.7 so 9 0.711 okay so you see now i i went up to 12.8 so you see i went back to the 12 percent but you're gonna ask me the question why is it not exactly 12 obviously it's never gonna be exactly 12 because look at this damage different 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 that so i have to try once so let's think about this like this <clears throat> you're gonna try twice once with the additional damage once without the additional damage right once with the additional you're gonna have one damage that damage can be one between a ratio and then the other one will be between a ratio so that that difference in ratio will effectively make it different so but we're close i think this is close enough to understand the general idea and that's how you can calculate it now this whole idea of additional damage is very weird for you to test it normally without doing the math now the reason for this is that you could do this test and i will show you in a second i could do this test again and try multiple times and make it seem like as if that additional is better but it's not it's not better it's just that you're trying it too many times and then you took a sample and that sample was not a right sample the best way actually for you to test this is to try a good amount like a lot of times the more the better and then get a main value on each test and then divide them all to actually see how it is also you can see how effective additional damage is when you have a lot of it so once you add a lot of it which we will do in few seconds you will notice more so let's do that I want to show you a bit more because not only additional damage works like that also attack power is considered additional and we'll get into the all the types of additional damage and additive damage like anything that gets added anything that gets multiplied okay let's do an, um, another test a simpler test i have nothing no abilities i have no damage no nothing here remove the, the set my damage is pure we'll hit the boss once start it's 9.9 9.5 9 
9.1.9 okay you get the idea right so that's the normal that's my base damage now i want to try something i want to try something here uh what if i add 12 percent additional how much will that have what how much will i get and i'll just do the numbers in front of you like i'm trying to make it easier here do another one you see 9 2.1 so that's the i increased to 2.1 2.15 okay what was that i didn't notice 2.15 2.125 you get the idea right so obviously i'm gonna get a mean value and even though like the numbers i tried when i tried was even higher than this it was 2.2 2.2 2.1 2.1 so it was a bit higher so we took a mean value let's look at how what happened and i'll show you because it's a bit different so this is when the numbers got higher but i only had added one additional and i'll show you the biggest thing at the end because to make it easier to understand so if i dealt 2 million 1.8888 will take away how much i did originally so i removed three zeros from each one of them just to make it easier to theme also i removed some numbers at the end so that also adds to the factor of the error or for the human error so okay so that's how much I dealt, it's 200, uh, 221, divide that by 1967, multiply that by 100. So my 12% wasn't actually 12%, it was only 11.2. But if you will calculate this, my 12% shouldn't be 12%, mine should be only 9% because of my attack bar, 9.7 because of my attack. But see, that's because the numbers, the ability is so strong, but I don't have a lot of additional, so it doesn't seem. So let's do that. All right. So I want to make a big uh, additional damage. So let's look at it. I'm going to do... Um, what I'm going to do is going to add an, a normal, a neutral damage source. Okay. So this is the neutral damage source. With So this with the additional. Have the additional here. One additional and with the damage source. Let's hit the boss once. It's 2.6. One more. You get the idea 2.6 okay now i'm gonna add two attack power uh, engravings so both of them should be additional damage they should be added so let's see how much so this is a 16 percent additional damage which is attack power considered ad additional it gets added and then i'm gonna add another 18 because it says attack power 2 right and let's use that stop this start again and hit one more time how much we're going 3.4 okay so let's look at this my original damage okay was 2 2 million 6 4 8.4 that's the amount of damage i dealt with the grudge now with all the additional damage that i added or attack power that i got so let's copy that and then we'll, we'll go back to 3 four nine five take away from it um two six four eight okay so that's eight hundred eight hundred and seventy four uh eight hundred forty seven so that's the amount of damage we dealt right that's the amount of damage i gained by having mass increase by the way this is in million so there is three zeros here so that's eight hundred thousand obviously just understand that I'm all, I'm removing three zeros to make it easier to show, but there is obviously three zeros here. Now, if I take this amount of damage that I dealt and divide it over the amount of damage I originally dealt here, that's the amount of damage I dealt with the grudge. Okay, multiply that by a hundred percent. Okay, ah, uh, hundred percent. So I I got thirteen point nine. Okay, so that's almost thirty two right let's look at this but how much did i actually gain i added 16 and i added 18 so there's three different three de percent damage difference between uh well actually two percent now where did the two percent go the two percent went i think the two percent went like this but I i'm not certain okay so your damage would be a hundred percent right you add add any of them add the six so the 16 percent damage that you got multiply that by 18 and divide that by 100 right that's 2.2 .2. okay 
I not sure exactly what it is because I can't really get the numbers. Clearly, attack power gets added, but there is a difference between it. I'm noticing a pattern here in the calculation that attack power gets added, but attack power gets added in a layer and additional damage gets added in another layer. So they don't affect so they don't affect each other. They don't get added to each other. They get multiplied to each other at the end. That's what I'm noticing because I always notice that I'm not losing a lot of them. Because here, look at this. If I were to lose the 16%, so look at this, look at how much I should lose. I have right now 38% additional, right? If I were to lose in the 30, so that 38.2 additional I had, 0.2. If I multiply that by 16 and divide that by 100, I should lose 6% from in Curse Doll and I should lose also 18 multiplied by how much is it uh three okay three 18 multiplied by 38.2 that's another six percent here so you notice what i'm talking about now i'm not sure exactly what is this because i it's a bit hard to always get the numbers and this is something like no matter how much i try i mean i can eventually reach it with trying a lot of times which is just very difficult it's easier to just understand from Lost Ark themselves which additional damage, how do you add damage to each other? Because, like, the most important thing you want to understand here is that if something, it depends on which the order of things. Like, if I, just to give you an example, if I told you that I have 100, multiply that by 2, 200, add 100 is 300, right? But the, if I say 100 plus 100 multiply that by 2 is 400, the difference is the order of how things go. Which gets, which happens first? Do they add first? Do they multiply second? That, but that's something for later. That's just, I, I give you the idea. But the general term here that you want to understand is like this. Additional damage gets added to another additional damage. Go with it like this. So it doesn't, you don't actually get 12%. Attack power gets added. Normal damage, pure damage is something that says plus damage gets multiplied. So that's why Grudge Duel, uh, Grudge is actually so much better than any other engraving. Hitmaster gets its only damage. So that's the difference. Okay. Now I want to just give a general idea here. Before we're done with this video is a question for everybody is how much if how is if how is the card set deep dive is it good is it bad first of all the card set is good if you don't have light of salvation and if you have a choice between which one to chase for obviously this card set would be better to chase for because you can get the eight percent additional way faster getting seven percent life salvage but let's look at that. light of salvation is as effective as it said if it's seven percent it's seven percent okay fifteen percent is fifteen percent but additional but let's look at this card set so generally you're that you get at least 10 percent additional damage from the weapon multiply that by 12 over 100 so that's 1.2 you lose 1.2 damage from from it right and then if you have max which is 30 percent quality multiply that by 12 divided by 100 you will lose 3.6 so the idea here is that depending on how much quality you can calculate it yourself you will lose between 10 your dam your, your the additional damage you're getting from this if i want to translate it to actual damage you're getting e from 10 percent damage extra 10.8 if you have 10 percent quality to 8.4 that's if you don't have any other sources of additional damage but let's look at this what could you could you have more additional damage sources yes you could and if you do you will lose so much more let's look look for example salvation gives you additional damage look at this it says additional it's clearly additional so how much does salvation give salvation give 54 percent additional multiply that by 12 divide that by 100 and look at this you lost 6.84 this 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 amount of damage you did not affect that's the amount of damage you did not affect on the light salvation you lost from affecting light of uh, affecting what's called again salvation set so the idea the general idea is that 12% additional I'm just gonna give you answers but I don't think you should take the answers like this I think you should think about it is light of salvation 7% better than the 8% yes okay that's the first question we answered second question is 12% additional damage 
uh, from deep dive better than the 7%? Yes, but only if, only if, if you don't have other additional damage sources. Like for example, Salvation Set. If you have Salvation Set, it's not even a question to play with it. Even the 12% is worse. Okay? And that depends on your character. Obvi I think there's other characters that give additional damage buffs, but I, I like for example Solfist. I have tried it on Solfist before. And Solfist increases their additional damage is not so bad, but still Light of Salvation is better. So 7 is better. The, 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 the only class that had it had a chance of fighting is Solfist because Solfist buffs their own additional damage. So they had a bit of fighting chance, but no, nope, they still don't fight. They still lose. So that's the whole idea. And that's how we calculate everything. And honestly, the, the fun part about all of this is to enhance our damage, enjoy the game. So I could have made a mathematical problem or like something wrong. I don't know. But obviously, I would love to hear any opinion about this video. And if you've been watching this so far, you would understand more. Maybe tell me if I made a mistake. I would be happy to read all the comments. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you next one. Goodbye.